Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. Three point charges, two microcoulomb, minus three microcoulomb, and minus three microcoulomb are kept at vertices A, B, and C. So since they are given in order, this, this, and this, we will also take it in this order. Okay. To avoid any later confusions, let's take it in the same order. So at A, I am putting here two microcoulomb. If you are not familiar with microcoulomb, I'll explain again. B, you have minus three microcoulomb. And C, you have minus three microcoulomb. Okay. I am following the same order. One microcoulomb, if you have not seen that before, it is 10 to the power minus six coulombs of an equilateral triangle of side length 20 centimeters. So what is each side of this equilateral triangle? 20 centimeters. What should be the sign and magnitude of charge to be placed at the midpoint of side BC? Midpoint means at this point, 10 centimeter away from B and 10 centimeter away from C. You are placing a charge over here such that the charge at A remains in equilibrium. Charge on A remains in equilibrium, which means the total force on A is zero. But wait, sir, who is applying this force? B and C. Simply, if you are placing three charges, charge on A will be affected by charge on B and charge on C. So, charge on A, okay, the force acting on A due to B is attractive or repulsive? Sir, attractive. Why attractive? Because this is 2 is positive and minus 3. So, force will be force of attraction. This is force acting on A due to B. Again, I am repeating, this is plus 2, this is minus 3, plus and minus attraction. So, attraction will be this A wants to go towards B and B wants to go towards A. But we are finding force on A, that's why we made an arrow in this direction. Sir, what happens if this minus 3 is in opposite, like plus 3, then it would be in the opposite direction, repulsion. It will throw it in the... Sir, why you made this arrow in this particular direction? Why not here or why not here? Because of the force because of the two charges the force is acting always along the line joining the two charges if we apply the same concept here this will be the direction of force between a and c force between a and c c is negative a is positive so force of attraction i hope this is clear let's find the magnitude of fab k Q1, okay, let me put the values only, 9 into 10 to the power 9, K, charge, Q1, 2 micro coulomb, charge on B, minus 3, let me remind you again, no negative sign is taken here, in Coulomb's law, there is a modulus here, so negative sign will not be taken, upon R square, separation is 20 centimeter, so be very careful, convert it into meters, always standard units, clear? FAB is this. Sir, what is FAC? FAC will be K. Charge on A. Charge on C. Whole divided by separation square. 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. Correct? I hope this is clear. So, this is FAB and FAB and FAC. Okay? Both are equal? Yes, they are equal. If they are equal, then what will be the resultant? Let's recall a concept of class 11. Resultant of any two vectors is given by root under a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. What happens if they both are equal? Then the same formula will be a square b is equal to a. So a square b is equal to a. So into a cos theta. So this will be root under 2a square plus 2a square cos theta. Correct? This will be the thing. And what if theta is 60 degree? Sir, how do you know the angle between them is 60 degree? Let me remind you, this is an equilateral triangle. So, equilateral triangle, angle is always 60 degree. Root under 2a square plus 2a square cos 60, half. Cancels out. You are left with root under 3a square. Let me repeat again two important things about this solution. What are these two important things? First thing, both the vectors should be equal in magnitude. Then you apply this. Secondly, 
the condition here is theta is 60 degree, then you get this. So, this will be root 3 a, where a is the any one of the vector because both are equal. Clear it is? So, you can use this formula or you can put this complicated thing here and simplify at the end, you will get the same thing. But I am directly using this result. So, net force acting on A due to both the charges should be equal to root 3 force. One of the force you can put here 9 into 10 to the power 9, 2 into 10 to the power minus 6, 3 into 10 to the power minus 6, whole divided by 20 into 10 to the power. I will solve it within a minute. But I hope this concept is clear. So, from where I got this extra root 3? From this resultant. Okay, since both the vectors are equal, FAB and FAC, and both are inclined at 60 degree, then we get this particular outcome. Clear it is? So, let's remove this. Okay, we have used it. Now, then we will proceed to our remaining part. So, this is our total force acting on A. If this is the force acting on A, where will be this force acting? Sir, this force will be acting this side. Sir, how do you know that? See, from 11th standard, if this is a vector and this is another vector, the resultant is always this. Sir, vector is this side and another vector is this side. Then where it will be? Resultant will be this side. If one vector is this side and one vector is this side, then this side will be the resultant. So, it's clear from 11th standard. Okay, this, this is our result. So, this is our net force acting on A. Now, if you are placing a charge on midpoint of B and C, this charge should apply a force in the opposite direction. Correct? Which means in this direction. Then only the resultant will be 0. Then only the A will remain in equilibrium. I hope this is clear. Clear? So, first thing, sir, to apply that force, okay, if this is the net force, this is our plus 2 microcoulomb, okay. So, this opposite force should be repulsive, correct. At this point, it should be in pointing in this direction, correct. So, this will be the charge on, let's call it as D, should be positive charge. If you are placing a positive charge, then only it will throw it in this direction, right. If it is a negative charge, then it will be along F of A. So, we have to put a charge on D in such a way that it should repel this two microcoulomb charge. Clear? And repulsion will be upward. So, our charge on D must be positive. First thing, charge on D must be positive. But they are asking, find the magnitude of the charge. Sign I have told, positive. Magnitude? Let's see that. So, we will make use of a very crucial concept here again. Okay. So, our concept is first we will have to find AD. Okay. How do we find AD? Sir, AD, if I draw AD, AD will be perpendicular here. Okay. So, in case if you don't know why it will be perpendicular, this is an equilateral triangle. This side equal to this side. This side is equal to this side. So, this side has to be perpendicular from our basic concepts of triangles, okay, perpendicular, since it will form in one triangle, it will be perpendicular bisector, okay, because it will be, okay, passing through here, D, so AD will be median, so it will break these two triangles into two equal triangles, right, so AD has to be perpendicular. So, if AD is perpendicular, let's use Pythagoras theorem. So, using Pythagoras theorem, AD square will be equals to AB square minus BD square. What is AB? 20 centimeter, so 20 into 400 centimeter square, whatever, we'll convert that into meter later on, minus 100. So, you got 300. So, AD will be equals to how much? 10 root 3 centimeter. Clear? Root of 300 is 10 root 3 centimeter. That is our AD. Now, if AD is 10 root 3, let's now figure out the force between A and D. So, force between A and D will be, be very careful, that will be K or let me put it here directly because now the concept is clear. This must be equal to K, the charge on A, charge on D, sir, we don't know, upon the separation square. So, 10 in 10 root 3 
into 10 to the power minus 2 just to make it simple and 10 root 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 because centimeter is meters here i convert it clear now let's cancel out the terms and find the magnitude of q this cancels with this 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 cancels with 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 what we left with here we left with here 3 root 3 and let's take everything on the other side 3 root 3 okay into 10 to the power minus 6 into let's take this denominator on the left hand side 10 root 3 into 10 root 3 how much it will be it will be 10 10 100 100 into 3 300 10 to the power minus 4 whole divided by 400 10 to the power minus 4 equals to q 10 to the power minus 4 cancels with this 400 cancels this 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 you left with charge which should be placed at d must be 9 root 3 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 micro column okay so this is our final answer for this watch the complete playlist on the app pions download the app now